Okay, so in this case, we're going to do a zero degree calibration with a zero degree wedge on. I want to start afresh, so I go on File, click New. Once I have a new setup, go to the menu screen and I click on the file to open up the menu and wizard. Here I'm going to set up the part thickness and the type of material that I'm inspecting. So my thickness in this case is a one and a quarter inch thick calibration block. And the material is mild steel. Finish. Then go to setup, click start. Group mode, phase ray, application, leave it on other, click next. Probe is auto selected, wedge. I will click on show all so it opens up the library and read the numbers off of my wedge which is SA120L. So I scroll down to SA12 and select 0L which is zero degree linear. Log configuration, leave it on linear sector, type of wave longitudinal element quantity is 8 but I can use the maximum allowed by my instrument which in this case it has 16 pulsers so I keep my element quantity on 16 Click next first element 1 the last element used all the way up to 64 also watch the angle in this case is 0 then click next Focus depth. I want to set my focus depth sound beam to focus at the thickness of my calibration block. So leave it on 1.25 and then click generate. Next, I move to calibration once I set my focal laws. So ultrasound mode wedge delay. Then start. Echo type, depth, in this case I'm getting a signal off of the quarter inch side drill hole. So my echo type is depth and the depth is quarter inch. Click next. First one, last 49. Click next. Set gate A on depth A. So I'm going to start my gate a little before quarter inch. and width which will take it to a little bit after quarter inch so that will be 0.1 so now my gate is from 0.2 to 0.3 click next once I see my calibrate screen I'm ready to put some coupling on the calibration block and get a signal from the quarter inch side drill hole once I get that click calibrate and get a signal again. Once I get a nice straight line, I hit accept. I'm done with my wedge delay calibration. The next thing I want to do is a sensitivity calibration. Now for a sensitivity calibration, it just depends on the type of inspection you're going to do in the field, right? But in this case, let's just practice a sample sensitivity setting. So in this case, I'm going to play with my gain and get my second back wall to 80% screen height. Right now the signal is above the screen so I'm gonna reduce my gain so I set my second back wall signal to about 80% the screen height. Right there. Now don't confuse that signal with the second back wall. If you are confused which one's a back wall, just take your probe and wedge off of the calibration block and watch the screen for the signal that stays on the screen. So the one that stays is actually the signal coming off of the wedge and air interface, right? It's bouncing off of the wedge thickness. So that signal will always stay there in a zero degree inspection with the wedge on. Don't confuse that with the back wall. Now once you find out the wedge signal, 
then place your probe and wedge on the calibration block and watch for the other signals that pop up on the screen. And that is your actual back wall.